T6IWN here. Are you in an HOA, an apartment, a condo, or just somewhere where you're not able to get an antenna up? Well, today we're going to do a how-to on the rain gutter antenna. Yeah, that's right, the rain gutter antenna. Maybe this will be the solution for you. Alright, here's the parts and pieces for today's project. Uh, first off, I have a 9 to 1, and then also a 49 to 1 transformer. An antenna analyzer. I got two plastic, plastic is important, tent pegs, uh, stakes I got at Walmart for a couple bucks. A large 12 inch nail I'm going to use for a ground rod, a copper rod or whatever would be better. However, where I'm at, this is just kind of temporary. Uh, it's an HOA, so I don't want to go crazy. And then, obviously that's going to go into the ground. And then here I have a clamp, which uh, is going to connect to my gutter. And on everything I put these uh, spade terminals, just to make it easy to clip it on. Uh, you could do an O-ring if you're going to go more permanent. This is what I'm doing. Uh, I also have 50 foot of coax with an RF choke, and then some counterpoise wires. Um, I've already got everything measured out. Oh, also my lead length is six feet. So this is my first time doing this. Please comment below. I know there's a lot of other people that have done this, and they could probably uh, give some more input here. Let's uh, give some input for the community. Also, while I'm into that, uh, when I was researching this, there's a group on Facebook called HF Rain Gutters. I highly suggest you look it up. It's a real thing. So go on there. There's tons of information every day. Quick to show you what I'm working with on space. I have a small condo here. It's very limited patio. These are all metal railings. Oh, well, yeah, my metal barbecue. I have tried verticals out here. I have had not very su much success. It is a stucco building with all metal parking. The worst HF uh, scenario you can go with. But however, you have this nice gutter that uh, it goes around the building uh, about, I just guess, between 120 and 130 feet. And it's uh, up on the top roof, so it's probably about 30 plus feet up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do some tests on all the bands uh, with my antenna analyzer uh, between the 9 to 1 and the 49 to 1 and uh, see which one's going to work better with my gutter. Well if anyone's wondering how this thing works in the rain uh, today's the day to test it. So anyways I'm all set up. I've got my 49 to 1 out here and I just have it sitting on a CD case to keep it off the water. I don't know how waterproof it is. I'm going to cover it with one as well. Uh, this red wire is going to those plastic tent stakes. I said plastic. Remember that? So I wrap the wire around to keep it off the ground. I heard you don't want your lead wire touching the ground. Uh, I have that long nail. Unfortunately, I could not drive it in as far as I'd like yet. I'm hitting some concrete footing, but however, I'll work on that later. Um, the ground goes to my counterpoise side and then I've got three different lengths or excuse me four different lengths from short to longer they all just came with another antenna uh, don't ask me the exact lengths um, the coax is running in I had to run one the longest counterpoise wire I just kind of shot that in that room uh, snuck the coax in here and then for now I just kind of looped up a choke on this end but that's maybe I can do something better later. I'm about to hook it up to the antennalizer, do some tests. Alright, I'm going to do some more testing but uh, so far here on the 6 meter band I got 1.4. Uh, that's pretty darn good using the 49 to 1. Uh, it's going to definitely change, yeah. 160, I got 2.75. 7.4 Ooh, 80 is not looking so good. 5.6 40, 2.75 40, 2.28 on 30 25, 2.20 
20 meters 3.0 all right but I'm gonna I can tune that it's definitely uh, not ideal 2.3 on 17 15 I got 2.93 2.51 okay I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the same tests and I'm in um, run them on the 9 to 1 at noon. I'm not going to record them, I'm just going to write them down. I've actually done this uh, before. Oh, 10 meters is looking good. 2.29 at 50 ohms. Wow. So yeah, I'm going to be trying some uh, FT8 on uh, 10 meters I think too to test this out. So I'm going to go test out the noon and I'm going to write all the results down here for you guys. Alright, as you can see the results are in and uh, it looks like the 49 to 1 is doing better. I was thinking the, the 9 to 1 would actually do better in this, like a random wire situation. Um, remember, please comment below. How are you doing this? What do you think? Do you have any input? Comment below. Awesome sauce. It's working. I'm, I've got some noise. So yeah, I have done this configuration before, and at least where I'm at, phone isn't so great. I have made some contacts, don't get me wrong, um, especially later on at night and stuff, but it's uh, it's really rough with all the... Uh, stucco building is chicken wire. I'm just in the roughest place to do HF. But I've had a lot of success with FT8, so uh, don't be discouraged. Uh, I was driving around one day and just trying to figure out how I was going to do this around here where could I put a wire where could I put a wire and I saw a gutter and then I'm like oh no maybe I could use that as wire and then I started googling it and uh, it found out it's a it's a real thing so anyways I'm gonna start calling CQ here and I'm gonna let it run for a while and uh, let the PSK reporter and stuff do its thing so you can kinda see the spots and uh, we'll see if I can't get any contacts right after operating 10 minutes on 10 meters uh, all those little dots are the spots. Uh, I've had a few QSOs. I haven't really been trying. I called CQ mainly to to see my spots. Um, definitely very active. So you can gutter antenna. Uh, I was discouraged at first, and I, I'm not an ideal spot. I imagine if you were in a building that was all wood. Uh, you would have better results. Um, every scenario is going to be different. Everybody's gutter is different. The lengths of the gutter, the environment around you. So it's just something you're going to have to experiment. Um, I know I definitely do better with counterpoise wires. Um, I'm going to post a screenshot what I did uh, the other weekend. Uh, 18 watts. I'm using a Zygu G90 here, by the way, that tunes up my gutter right up fine. And I got Japan on FT8. So uh, you can work DX. Uh, right now I'm just getting a lot of the East Coast and Central America. Um, but it's, uh, let's see, 12.20 p.m. in the afternoon. So once you hit the gray line, you know, interesting stuff can start happening. So anyways, this is W6IWN. Thanks on watching How to Gutter Antenna. And please comment below. Uh, I want the community to share information so people can learn and we can uh, improve on these projects. Thank you so much.